in question three we have this difference equation and we're told u0 is equal to one so let's have a look at creating un first so when n is equal to one we get u1 which is equal to putting one in here and one in here is going to be three plus twice u0 when n is equal to two u2 becomes three plus twice u1 we have u1 above substituting in we get u2 is equal to three plus twice three plus two u0 multiplying this out three plus twice three plus four times u0 and u is equal to three should show us what the pattern is sorry n is equal to three u3 is going to be three plus twice u2 which is three plus twice three plus twice three plus four times u0 so u3 and actually i'm going to change this four here just for two squared so we can see the pattern in terms of n two squared so that's going to be three plus twice three plus twice or two squared times three plus two cubed times u zero and if we keep u zero and create our geometric progression here we have three as a factor that would leave one plus two plus two squared all the way to two to the power of n minus one and if we get sn of this sn is equal to a times one minus or to the power of n over one minus r we've all done a few of these now at this point so this is equal to well we'll bring the tree back in in a minute so we're just focusing on this a is equal to one or is equal to two so we get one minus two to the power of n over one minus two and when they're like this when it's negative and negative on the bottom we can also write this as two to the power of n minus one over two minus one which is one so we just get two to the power of n minus one big one and three times this three times two to the power of n minus one is three times two to the power of n minus three so we end up with this plus two to the power of three times u zero u zero is equal to one so in terms of n we're going to get three times two to the power of n minus three plus two to the power of n times u zero and u zero is equal to one so we're going to get three times two to the power of n plus two to the power of n minus three so we have four two to the power of n's four times two to the power of n minus three it's going to be u n in terms of n and this is obviously going to get bigger as n increases four times two to the power of a number is going to increase so what does the question ask us which of these is true as n gets bigger it tends to infinity it's going to get bigger and bigger as we can see in question three